Success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. Henry David Thoreau, my friends, don't worry about how long it will take you to master the markets. It's important that you start and that you keep with it each and every day, 10 to 15 minutes, and you will achieve your goal to become a chart of becoming a charting master. Now let's jump into these charts. What do we see going on another down day as these markets roll over? Looks like we will be into a short on the S&P 500 come Friday. As we look now again, not our perfect entry. Why? Well, you know, we did have an interim high last week. We'd like it to be a green up candle, sort of like the week before. We look at the high there, and it was pretty close. 363.67. This week, 365. Last week, rather. That was two weeks ago. Last week, 365.16 with that green spinning top. And, of course, this week we do have a spinning top. Big wick on the bottom would prefer it, you know, to be a little more balanced. We'll see what balance looks like when I get to the next chart for you. We can see we have three down candles. Again, down today another half percent. We're well below the weekly trend line on the half day and the two day and the weekly. And of course, look at all that volume again showing us that the market is heading in that direction with that interim high and then the roll over. Now, here's the sweet trade. This is the one I personally got in. Of course, we saw it heading up. We saw the interim high with higher than average volume. I jumped in on Friday. I'll show you that trade in just a minute. As things were just sitting right there with the, with the red spinning top, almost a doji, higher than average volume, beautiful. And then things rolled over. Now, it took it. It didn't immediately do that. We saw them looking at the half-day chart now where things rolled down on Friday. Then, of course, a little nervousness sets in when things start to roll up on Monday through Monday morning. But then Tuesday afternoon started to sink. Wednesday and Thursday down. Look at my practice. Well, this is a real trade for me. I don't tell you what to do at all with any of your money. Don't encourage you ever to follow my trades. My trades are my trades. We're not a stock calling service. We're an education firm. Sometimes I do share you with you what I actually do. And this is the trade I took. I got in in the afternoon at $41 on PSQ, which is the inverse. And what happened? Well, things rolled over that next day. And we saw where things went down on Monday, down on Tuesday morning. And then things started to turn around Tuesday afternoon, zoomed up on Wednesday, further up on Thursday, actually sold me out in the morning. Half of my trade gone, a 2.76% increase. The rest of it, I have left to ride the market. Hopefully it will go further. If it doesn't, starts to roll back on me. I can always get out of the trade before I get into the red column. Even if at this point it goes into the red column all the way down to the bottom, of course, what have I already done? Well, I'm playing with the market's money, right? Until it actually goes below the red what we call loss ban. And I'm not planning on staying in, letting it do that. Now, could something crazy happen? The market rocket up five, six, seven, eight percent in a day? I guess so. If it does, okay. Well, still, I didn't lose anything. But right now, I'm 2.76% up in a matter of, what, four days? That's not bad. And I'm going to let the rest of that ride and we will continue to keep an eye on it. Now, this is again the classic setup that we talk about over and over. If you haven't taken our training on inverse funds, how to make money when markets crash, then look at your email yesterday that I sent you because I actually shared that with you. I wanted you to have it. Please make sure each and every day you are looking at the trainings that are coming in. If you're not, if you're not receiving our trainings, means you're not signed up for free at chartingwealth.com, getting our email, which you can cancel at any time. That list is never spammed, never shared. Please go to chartingwealth.com, sign up. You'll get the trainings each and every day, plus you'll get these valuable videos. So things are going in the right direction for my Q's trade. As things have rolled over going down, quite nicely. We will continue to monitor this as we move throughout the week. Let's go on to 
20-year U.S. government bonds, they are up a little bit for the day. Now, what do we see happening? We're right up here almost at the, aver at the average volume on the weekly chart. We are below the weekly trend line on the two-day and the half-day. You can see where things were up a little bit for the day, 0.82%. We're paying close attention because we have the interim high uh, last week. Now, we did we get a higher high over here? See what this high was going all the back to week of June the 10th. That was $94.54. Things then $94.30. Then they rolled back over. They went up again, 94.14, 94.40. And then this week, and look, we average volume last week, average volume this week with a red doji. I'm going to be very interested in what's happening in TLT tomorrow because I might be looking to enter a short play in TBF. Not feeling super strong about it, but what is it? It is the inverse of it's the short of the 20-year U.S. government bonds. It's the opposite of TLT. It goes in the opposite direction. Those who don't know a lot about inverse funds, please read about it. Please take our training. We tell you what they're about. There are potential problems with them. They're typically reset on a daily basis. They higher than normal fees because they are actively managed. Can you imagine? You've got to literally do what it takes as the fund manager to make sure that it matches in the inverse what's going on with the, the long fund that it is the opposite of. So do think about it. And the best way to understand them is to do what? Practice trade them. Doesn't cost you anything to practice trade. So think about it. And typically, these funds, particularly now that the markets have been going up, Let's see what TBF is a share. Okay, yeah, you could buy four shares for hundred less than $100. And again, you could practice trade. Something for you to think about. Now again, that's if indeed you've paper traded long enough to think about fractional trading. Just something that again helps you along your way as you start gaining mastery. If you lose 20% of $100, that's 20 bucks. If you lose 20% of $100,000, you're not going to be trading a whole lot longer. So please, please don't be foolish. And again, we're not a stock calling service. We're an education firm. We want you to practice trade with us. Learn how to do this. Learn by doing. Okay, that's what we see going on with bonds. We will be watching tomorrow to see if this is a potential down trade we want to get in. We may or may not pull a trigger on that. What do we see going on with gold? Well, gold sort of the same way. Look at it. Above average volume with the clearly an interim high, higher than all these other highs. Makes me feel better about this than bonds. And then what do we have here? We have a red spinning top, almost a doji with average volume. What does that typically tell us? We have a whole lot of people buying, a whole lot of people selling after we've hit an interim high tells me that we might be looking for gold to go down. Now, I love to sort of double check with gold and look at GDX, which is the gold miners. What's going on with the people that own the mines? Something fairly similar. It's hit a top, sitting right there on the edge, right on the trend line, maybe getting to roll over. Not going to be looking to short GDX. Why? Well, of course, because GDX is not up to average volume. Could be by tomorrow, though. So again, pay attention. Remember, there is no decent inverse fund in gold. There's GDX. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, GDZ. No, D, sorry. DGZ. Delta Golf Zulu. DGZ. That is the single short for gold. Problem with it is it's not very liquid means the bid and the ask are a big spread and you got to make up a lot to just break even. So if you're a Patreon member, you of course have had access since you joined. The first email you get is Options Made Simple, the Charting Wealth Way. You could be practice trading options in gold. Not difficult to do if you have that base knowledge, which we give all of our Patreon members at any of the three levels. If you just become a Patreon supporter, You'll get that three-part training. All you need to get started in practice trading options. And again, loads of fun. Lots of challenges there. You will find that training fabulous. So think about becoming a Patreon supporter. You underwrite the work we do here for free for you. 
each and every day. And all the rest of you, thank you, Patreon supporters, for helping us be able to bear the expenses to produce all of this for you on an ongoing daily basis for free. Gold back, pulling back 156, 1.56 percent for the day. So a big down day in gold. In fact, our biggest downer. So again, we might be shorting gold by the end of the week. And lastly, we will go to HODL. What's going on with Bitcoin? Bitcoin pulling back 1.45%. Again, getting near that weekly trend line on the half day chart. Two day chart, we've got a doji there representing Thursday and Friday. Lots of indecision as we look at it. And again, as we look at where we are this week on the weekly candle, which is our most important candle, we can see we had above average volume this week. We're not there even to average volume yet this week. We do see that the high this week, 77.30, last week 76.42. So we have hit a higher high. Hopefully Bitcoin will just keep trudging as again, it's moved up four, slid sideways and down. Up four, slid sideways and down. Is it going to take off again or is it going to blow off steam? We'll wait We'll watch, we'll see. By the way, Patreon members, we will be sending you your weekly vertical crossovers today. We also have already uploaded at the Patreon site where we upload the weekly vertical crossovers to. Also send them out to you in email. We've already uploaded the three wave trades and the charting cryptos, commodities and currencies, which we will be sending out to everyone else tomorrow. We'll be releasing that on the YouTube page. But in the meantime, Patreon members, you will have all of those Everything we send out in the email, you always get at the Patreon page too. So in case for some reason you don't see the email, everything's at the Patreon page, which you have total access to. Again, my friends, thank you so much, all of you, for being with us. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters. Enjoy these charts. I love it. It is so much fun. God bless.